So after you have decided which service package is going to fit your needs, what you need to do is go ahead and scroll to the top and go to support account control panel. And then you need to scroll down to the services surplus. And you see, as of now, I have $0 in here. So in order to purchase that service package, I'm going to go with 11. That was $46 a month. I'm going to go ahead and make a payment. So you can pay uh, by Stripe, by PayPal, by Zelle, by wire transfer, or make automatic payments with Stripe. You do get a discount if you purchase more at a time. So I'm going to purchase 11. And if I get six months at a time for $220, I get a 20% discount. So I'm going to go back to that control panel and add money. So make a payment of $100. And I'm just going to pay using Stripe and it's going to ask me to continue. It's just going to give like a confirmation and I'll hit continue. And then it's going to take me to Stripe's checkout. And I'm going to go ahead and fill out this information and then come back and add the service package. So after you went ahead and successfully paid, you can go back to the account control panel and then scroll down to account details. And you see I have services surplus of $200. This money will be used for the service package and also for any data feeds that I set. So what I need to do now is if you look at my current service package, it's set to the trial package. So I need to update that. So you go here to change package or set package for renewal. And right now it's set to disabled. So what I'm going to do is select the service package that I need. Because this is a non-trading account, I'm purchasing five. But again, if you're looking to trade through your AMP or EdgeClear personal account, you're going to need 10, 11, or 12. If you're looking to trade a prop firm account, you need 10, 11, or 12. So I'm going to do update and set and hit OK. And then it it's going to tell me my usage time will automatically renew in 201 days. However, if I don't have enough money in my account and I didn't select the Stripe automatic payments, when this six months comes around, uh, what I will need to do is go ahead and go in and add more money. Now, when you log into Sierra chart and it's like getting close to your expiration, they will tell you. And that's usually just what I do.